I made a video a little while ago looking at blending polychromos pencils using layering and burnishing. Today I want to have a look at if there's anything we can do to enhance that using some different materials. So the ideal material would be something that breaks down the oil in the pencil and smooths the pigment out onto the page. I've shortlisted five different items, some of which I already had around the house, some I've bought especially, so that I can compare all of them and we can see which one works the best. I have baby oil, zest it, hand sanitizer, a Copix colorless blender, and isopropyl alcohol. I've popped links in the description for everything I'm using today. Let's get on with it. Hey, my name's Gemma and I want to help you improve your drawing skills. If it's your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Now the first thing I'm going to do to test each of these materials out is to just create five single colour swatches with a bit of a gradient on there and see how they all blend. And I also want to have a look at if any of these materials come through the back of the paper. So let's get this all drawn out. And now that's done, let's get started with the baby oil first. I've tipped some of the oil into the lid just to make it a little bit easier to get on the Q-tip that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use a Q-tip for all of them, except for obviously the Copic marker. I'm going to start on the lightest bit of the swatch and then gradually work out to the edge and blend out the edge as well. And it's not doing too bad actually, but it is smoothing out the pencil strokes and leaving quite a nice smooth base. I'm quite impressed with the baby oil. Let's see how zest it holds up. Now this does feel a lot less greasy and nicer to put on. It's blending out the pencil strokes very well and I feel like it's easier to control how it blends. I also, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to be making the color a bit more intense, whereas the baby oil seemed to mute it a little bit. So, so far I would say that Zest It is my favorite. Up next is the hand sanitizer, and this one felt peculiar. As I think we all know now, hand sanitizer is very jelly-like, and putting something with a jelly-like consistency on the paper just felt a bit weird. And as you can see, it also didn't do a great deal. <laughs> so I'm not particularly impressed with this one. Next up is the Copic marker. The Copic marker blended it a little bit, but not to the extent of the Zest It. And it did go down on the paper very easily and it was really easy to use. But as you can see now on the tip here, it is very blue and I'm going to have to try and find a way to clean that off. Last but not least is the alcohol. And being so thin, it went down pretty easily as well. Although I will mention that due to it being alcohol, it was very potent. But it blended it all out quite nicely. I would say it wasn't dissimilar to the Zest It. So now I've got all of the swatches blended, I'm just going to leave it all to dry properly. I'm going to see if I can go over the top of the dark section with pencil again and see how well the pencil goes on top of what I've already got down on the paper. I would say I wasn't able to get a strong colour on any of them really except for the Zest It. And it was worse the oilier the material that I had used was. Now let's just take a look at the back of the paper and see if anything soaked through. And what you can see here is the baby oil and the Zest It have both made a mark on the back. However, after a couple of hours, the Zest It did dry and disappear completely, but the baby oil was still there. Okay, some of the materials definitely performed better than others, but I wouldn't say any of them performed amazingly on the light patch where there's less pencil to blend. So I think the best thing to do is to use some swatches where I'm using multiple colours and see how it all blends together when it's all completely burnished. So I'm going to use the swatches that I made for the skin tone video I did a couple of weeks ago. And let's see if the results are any different. Now while I do this, let's take a minute to talk about the price of each. Zest It is by far the most expensive. I bought a 125ml bottle for £5.70 and I know that you can get it in the US for just over $6. Compare that to the second most expensive 5ml is the alcohol which it works out to be about $2 per 100ml roughly. The cheapest by far is the baby oil and the Copic blender is more at the higher end but not as expensive as the Zest It. That said, we're not talking huge amounts of money still, so although it is a factor, none of them are costing an absolute fortune, so I think I'm going to focus more on performance than price. 
Now, if I look at the results before and after side by side, I think I'm going to discount the baby oil because it just creates this weird oily patch, particularly on this light bit here that I don't like. The zester is still looking very good and the hand sanitizer also going to get rid of because it just doesn't do anything. The Copic marker has actually blended much nicer now that there's more colors. The alcohol has done a good job at blending, but on both this swatch and on the previous swatch, it's made the paper go all weird and bumpy. You see that? So I'm gonna get rid of the alcohol as well. So I definitely think it's between the Copic marker and the Zestit. I'm going to do one final test on the Zestit and the Copic's blender. I'm going to use this apple in these swatches that I used for a previous video and do little sections of blending on both. So I'm going to start with the Zestit and just blend the top of both the swatches and the left hand side of the apple. And now I'm going to do the bottom of the swatches and the right of the apple with the Copic marker. And as you can see both look a little bit better than the Polychromos on their own, but only a tiny bit better here. And I would say that they both look very similar to each other. If you haven't seen the video where I drew this apple and showed how to blend Polychromos without any extra materials, do check out the link in the description. Okay, which material do I think is best for blending Polychromos pencils? I have to say it's pretty close between the Zestit and the Copic blender. The thing that frustrates me about the Copic blender is that the nib gets stained and you can clean it with isopropyl alcohol and a tissue, but it is an extra step that I don't have to go through with the Zestit. So I think if I was going to give an award, I would give it to Zestit. And this is what I'll be using for my blending from now on. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.